Pharmacy services are offered at Salina Regional 24 hours a day and seven days a week. Virtually every medication that's ordered for our patients is reviewed by a pharmacist. Some days that's over a thousand medications a day. I'm here to talk about medication safety. I'm Linda Radke, pharmacist at Salina Regional. Linda, I know the pharmacy team really takes medication safety as their top priority. Why don't you talk about that? Well, medication safety has always been our primary focus uh, in, with the pharmacy team, and mostly we've been focused on patient safety, protecting patients from exposure to hazardous drugs. There's some new regulations that are going into effect December 1st, and this is in hospitals all over the country, that we are focused on protecting staff from exposure to hazardous drugs. And what this means is that from the time a drug comes into the pharmacy, the way it's prepared and compounded under sterile conditions, delivered to the floor, administered by the nurse to the patient, and clear to this disposal of the waste at the end, we want to make sure that our patients and our staff are protected. Let's look at the entire role of the pharmacist in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Virtually every medication that's ordered for a patient in the hospital is reviewed by a pharmacist, and many days that's over a thousand medication orders a day. But that's kind of the behind the scenes role. Our pharmacists fill many other roles. We're part of the teams that uh, participate on the floors in, in a lot of different units. You'll have many of the nursing units have pharmacists on them and they're involved in rehab teams, uh, family practice, oncology, uh, critical care, and emergency medicine. One of the things that I want your viewers to know is that when a patient comes into the hospital and has questions about their medications, we're there 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and we're happy to talk to anyone about their home medications, the medications that we're giving them in the hospital, and any questions about what they're being used for or any side effects they might be having. How's the role of pharmacy as SRHC as a teaching facility? Yes, I'm glad you mentioned that. We have some exciting news. Uh, we just graduated our seventh class of pharmacy residents. For seven years, we have been part of an accredited residency program taking postgraduate pharmacists for a year of intensive uh, education. And this year, as of July 1st, we're increasing to three residents. These residents will work alongside the pharmacists and pharmacy students uh, in all the many roles that pharmacy has at Salina Regional. Another exciting thing, we work with the University of Kansas Pharmacy School, and this year we have a record 32 students coming out their final year of pharmacy school to do internship rotations at Salina Regional. I also know the diabetes support group okay. here, in, here in Salina. Pharmacy plays a role in that, correct? Yeah. For the last few years, we um, have had the residents, as part of their leadership rotation, take complete responsibility for the community diabetes support group. It's free, it's open to the public, and the residents are involved in it. For more information, please visit src.com, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.